Hello, this is the Gospel reading and a short reflection for Wednesday the 29th. It's the day on which we remember Mary of Bethany, not to be confused with Mary Magdalene last week, uh, but this is Mary as in Martha and Mary. And our Gospel reading is from John chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Mary's extravagant gesture is entirely in character, as is the fact that Martha served at the dinner, still doing that, hopefully not resenting it any more after the previous exchange with Jesus. But Mary, the one who sat at Jesus' feet and listened to him and wasn't concerned with the housekeeping or the cooking or the serving. Now, from Judas's point of view, wastes a whole pound of costly perfume in order to anoint Jesus for his death. Judas isn't pleased and John takes the opportunity to remind us that uh, Judas's motives were not pure, but we too may feel, come on, we need to give to the poor, not be wasting money on a show like this. But apart from the fact that Mary was anointing Jesus for his burial and the significance of that, I think there's the fact that this shows us something of God's generous and extravagant love for us. She is showing how much she loves Jesus and we remember that it's exactly the same measure of love that God has for us, generous, extravagant, extraordinary, foolish, ridiculous, pouring out all that love on us when we don't even often deserve it. That's how God works and Jesus commends Mary for showing those present and showing us a picture of the incredible generosity and extravagance of the love of God. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you pour out your love for us, in making us as we are, in calling us back to you through Jesus Christ, in giving us hope and encouragement through your Holy Spirit. Now help us to pour out that love on one another, especially in this our time of need and uncertainty so that many may see the beauty and the glory of the love you have for all your people. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. See you next time.